I am time. I am Kala. I am perpetual and endless. I am the eternal witness. Since creation, I have existed, witnessed, and discerned everything. The good and bad, ups and downs, revolution and evolution. Over the ages, I had the good fortune of knowing the great avatars, sages, and saints from Satya, Treta, Dwapara, and Kali Yugas right up to this present day. Every era has experienced love for God in different ways. Today I will narrate to you some incidents on bhakti and devotion that occurred through the ages. I know all these distinguished souls. First, I will take you to Treta Yuga, to a great devotee, very dear and near to Sri Rama whose name you must have heard many times. He was virtuous and strong. He was humble and sincere. His devotion to his beloved master was unmatched. Let's find out who that was. Devotee of Rama. They both had mutual respect and love towards each other. The following two occasions show the unflinching devotion of the monkey god. The first instance shows Hanuman's love for Lord Rama. The second instance shows Rama's faith in Hanuman and Hanuman's unconditional love towards his Lord Rama. Mother Sita, I have come to offer my pronouns to you. Sorry to disturb you in this morning hours. I am feeling hungry. Do you have something that I can eat? Long, my son. Please wait here. Let me bring you some fruits. Sita leaves the room. Hanuma walks up and down hungrily. He keeps reciting Lord Rama's name. After some time, Sita enters the room dressed up and with a tray of fruits for Hanuma. Please, mother, I am very hungry. Here you go, Hanuman. Sita picks up the mirror to apply cinder on her forehead. From far, Hanuman sees Mata Sita applying cinder on her forehead and slowly approaches her. Mother, why do you apply cinder on your forehead? We believe that it will protect the Lord and he will have a long life. Really? Is that true? Yes, Hanuman. That is very true. It is for the help and prosperity of Lord Rama. On hearing this, an idea strikes Hanuman, and he leaves the room without eating while ignoring his hunger, goes in search of Sindhu. to the Darbar to see Lord Rama. When Hanuman walks inside the Darbar, everyone started laughing. When they saw Hanuman all covered with Sindur. Hanuman, what is this? My Lord, I saw Mata Sita applying Sindur on her forehead. They meant the reason behind it. I apply cinder all over my body so you will have the longest and prosperous life. On hearing this, Rama's eyes filled with tears of joy. He gets down from the throne and hugs Hanuman. Everyone in Daiba then understood Hanuman's true devotion. was crowned as King Ayodhya after killing Ravana. He was seated in royal throne with Sita. Rama was pleased to see everyone happy after their victory in the war. Rama happily 
starts to distribute the gift to everyone as a token of love. Dama gave Sugriban a necklace and told him it had sacred powers. Sita, this is a priceless pearl necklace and it's for you. Sita takes the necklace. She sees Rama handing over gifts to everyone, except for Hanuman. Looking at this, Sita feels sad. My lord, you did not give anything to Hanuman. I wish to give this pearl necklace to Hanuman. My queen, it is yours. Do as you wish. Hanuman, come here. This pearl necklace is for you. Please take it. Hanuman takes it from Mother Sita without showing any sign of happiness to show his loyalty. I wanted a place at Rama's feet and not this chain of pearls. Hanuman takes the necklace and removes one pearl at a time from the string, breaks it open in two halves and then throw them away very disappointed. People sitting in Darbar sees what Hanuman was doing. Hanuman, what are you doing? Well, what do you expect me to do with these pearls? I cannot see my Lord Rama and Mother Sita in it or any of the pearls in this chain. Don't be silly if that's the case. Will you be destroying anything that does not have your Lord? Yes, without any doubt. I see Rama everywhere. Forget about everything. Tell me this, is he in you? If he does not reside in me, then what is the use of this body? Saying this, Hanuman kneels down in front of everyone. He proceeds to tear open his chest. Mother Sita tries to stop Hanuman. As she reaches near him, she sees a miracle. Everyone was surprised. They see Lord Rama and Sita Mata sitting in the royal throne in his heart. Every part of my body recites my Lord and Mother's name. Hanuman is my prime devotee. Me reciting in him is not a surprise. I do not want to separate you from me. That is the reason why I didn't give you a gift. I am truly blessed. This is what I wish for, to be with you and Sita Mada always. Hanuman kneels down in front of Rama and took his rightful position. Looking at this, everyone realizes Hanuman's true devotion. Jai Hanuman Gyan Gun Sade